it's a, an interesting question about uh, redundancy uh, in some of the teleports that we work with around the world. And we, as a, an engineering company, so there is over 30 or 40 engineers working uh, back in uh, ETL headquarters in England at the moment, uh, and a lot of their designs now require uh, to re require single points of failure to be minimised. So, um, in the devices on my uh, left uh, here, this Stingray fibre, we are seeing more customers requiring uh, a main and standby path in various parts of the chain so that they minimise points of failure. Um, whether that's uh, switching uh, due to uh, dish failure or it's uh, detecting RF signal levels and moving to a secondary path, these uh, areas um, uh, are very important in SATCOM's designs and we're seeing more of that rather than less of that. Um, so the benefit is that the technology is now available that we can design circuit boards where um, standby, main and standby paths can be actually put on for the same price as, as main paths. So it's actually a move forward for us um, and some of our pick and pace machines are doing this very quickly. When we move on to our matrices and routers as well, here at Singapore, I've had more conversations this year than ever about um, main um, and standby paths through a matrix because these devices can be, uh, although albeit uh, an expensive investment, can be seen as single points of failure. So we work very hard uh, with our engineers to make sure that in the meantime before failures, or uh, matrix switches at ETL are increased to make sure that the devices can be relied upon. So whether that's um, power supplies, uh, CPUs, and even uh, redundant paths through parts of the matrix, these are the areas that we, we have to uh, deliver for modern teleports. Um, so Asia is cottoning on to this, and uh, several conversations have been moving away from the standard patch panel device, running into two-way passive splitters. One path goes to uh, a, sta a standby IRD, and the second path goes to occasional use switches and routers. All of the time, uh, the matrices themselves have to condition a signal. So I use the Olympic analogy. You've got weightlifters or basketball players or whichever sport uh, customers are watching going to millions and millions of people. So we've got to make sure that that signal is as good coming off the satellite as it is going into uh, possibly IRDs uh, and into the digital stream to millions and millions of customers. So it's that, uh, it's that part of um, sleeping well at night and redundancy that we have to be, uh, we have to be uh, pay attention to.